Alright, hi, I'm back. So this time, um, we'll be focusing more with the topics under the basic calculus. So let us start first with the first lesson for the basic calculus, which is the limits of a function. So these are the following objectives that we ought to um, find out or determine after this um, uh, presentation. So first is we're going to determine uh, the limit of a function using table of values and the graph of a function. And second is we're going to differentiate between the limit f of x as x approaches to c and the, li and the um, f of a. So what is a limit? A limit this is something that can or cannot be reached but can possibly be calculated. So this notion of limit is experienced in real life and in our daily concerns such as monitoring our speed limit in an expressway, being health conscious by limiting the salt and sugar consumption, adjusting the weight capacity of a bridge done by engineers and many others. A mathematical limit has characteristics similar to those of a physical limit. It is analysis of how function values or outputs change when inputs change. Now, if the values of f of x gets closer and closer to a number l as the values of x approaches to a, we say that l is the limit of f of x as x approaches to a. This is written as f of x is equals to a, uh, l rather, as x approaches to a, or more commonly as the limit f of x as x approaches to a is equals to l. Now, there are actually two ways on how you're going to determine um, the limits of a function. No? It can be done using the tabular method or using the graph. So let us first discuss the tabular method. Now, consider this table 3.1 where f of x is equals to x squared plus 1. Notice that as x gets closer and closer to 3, f of x gets closer and closer to 10. Now observe our table. No? As we um, as x is less than 3, no, we have certain values of, of x that are less than 3. And if it will, will, it will reach you 3, our function also gets closer to 10. No? And on the other side of the table, we have x is greater than 3. Still, as it gets closer and closer to 3, our function also gets closer and closer to 10. Hence, we can claim that the limit of our function as x approaches to 3 is equals to 10. Okay, another example. So, in this table, um, where f of x is equals to x squared minus 10, notice that as x gets closer and closer to 5, our function also gets closer to 24. Okay? Therefore, we can consider that the limit of our function as x approaches to 5 is equals to 24. Okay, now, we have to be reminded that the limit f of x as x approaches to a is not actually f of a. Okay? So it's actually different because there are cases that our limit does not exist. Alright? Now, just like for the uh, example, this um, example 1. So consider the function f of x was x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1. Find its limit as x approaches to a. Now, observe the table given. No? If you try to look at it, no? it somehow approaches to 2, right? It somehow approaches to 2. However, if we try to substitute the value of x with 1, we will have the answer of indeterminate. Or you will see that it is 0 over 0, right? Now, in calculus, you have to be reminded that if the answer is equals to 0 over 0, that it means it is in its deter indeterminate form. In that case, there is a need for uh, manipulation no, to determine a certain limit. So how are we going to do that? Now observe here. If we have f of x equals x squared minus 1 all over x minus 1, you have to be reminded that x squared minus 1 can be broken down into its factors, which are x minus 1 and x plus 1. Now observe that we can cancel out x minus 1 from the numerator and x minus 1 from the denominator. In that case, 
we can have the simplification that our function is equals to x plus 1. Now, if we try to determine the limit of this, then we will see that the limit of our function x plus 1 as x approaches to 1 is equals to 2. All right? Okay. Now, now we have the one-sided limits. In order to be able to say, for example, that the limit of the function uh, exists, no? the function values must approach no? from both the left and the right. Now, in other words, in order to, to get the limit of a given function, so these, the, the following should be considered. First, compute for the values of f of x as x approaches a from the left. Check whether these values also approach a certain number. We shall symbolize the limit from the left of a as the limit of f of x as x approaches to a from the left. Or we have a negative sign um, as an exponent of a. The second one is that compute for the values of f of x as x approaches a from the right. Check whether these values also approach a from a certain number. We shall symbolize the limit from the right of a as the limit f of x as x approaches to a from the right. Or the exponent of a has a positive sign there. Next, um, the limit f of x as x approaches a from the left and x approaches a from the right, these are called one-sided limits. Okay? Now, we're going to verify that these one-sided limits are equal for a certain function to be considered that it, it indeed exists. Now, if in any case the values are not equal, then the limit of f of x as x approaches to a does not exist. Or we somehow use the, um, this, um, the, this uh, symbol d and e. Okay? Does not exist. So, for example... Using the table of values, evaluate if the limit of x squared plus 2 as x approaches to 0 exists. Now, solution. In this problem, our function is x squared plus 2 and our a is equals to 0. Now look at our table. Now as we approach us to 0, no, we reach the limit of 2 from both sides. In that case, our limit exists which is equivalent to 2. Okay, another example. Examine the limit of x squared minus 9 all over x minus 3 as x approaches to 3 by constructing tables of values. Now, in this um, problem, we have our f of x is equals to x squared minus 9 all over x minus 3 and our a is equals to 3. Now, observe our table. If you try to look at it using the table, no, it doesn't really actually um, uh, have the same number. No, it might somehow look like that the the function gets closer and closer to six. No, as x is less than three, and as x is greater than three, it is also um, approaching to six. However, if you try to look closely and substitute the value of x is equals to three you will have the answer of 0 over 0, which, which is in its indeterminate form. In that manner, to solve for the limit, we will have to, to make any manipulation on our function so that we may be able to solve for the limit of it. In that case, you have, for example, you have f of x equals x squared minus 9 all over x minus 3. We have to be reminded that x squared minus 9 has two factors, x minus 3 and x plus 3. In that way, we can now cancel out x minus 3 from the numerator and x minus 3 from the denominator. Which means our answer would then have been f of x is equal to x plus 3. Now solving for the limit of our function as x approaches to 3, we will have the answer which is equal to 6. Okay? So that's why if you have if, if you notice from our table, it gets closer and closer to 6. Okay? Alright. Now, another example. Consider the piecewise defined function. f of x is equals to 2x plus 1 for x is um, less than 2. And x squared for x 
greater than or equal to 2. Uh, still using the table, observe. No? As x is less than, two, uh, less than 2, or it gets closer to 2, our function gets closer to 5. While on the other side, as x gets closer to 2, our function gets closer to 4. Now notice that we don't have the same or the both the, the tables doesn't share the same value. In that case, the limit does not exist. Okay? Now this time we will be talking the graphical method. No? The second way of determining the limit of a function. Now observe our um, graph here. What is the limit of the function as x approaches 2 from the left? x approaches 2 from the left. Now, from the left, so it should be coming from that way. So, as x approaches to 2 from the left, okay, our limit is equals to 2. Here, okay? Now, Find the limit of the function as x approaches 2 from the right. So from the right, going to that area, from the right. So as we approach to 2, okay, our function is equals to 4. Now, since the limit of the function as x approaches to 2 from the left and 2 from the right are not equal, then our limit of the function f of x as x approaches to 2 does not exist. Okay? So, both oh, um, the, the limit should be equal. Okay? The limit should be equal to be considered that the limit truly exists. Okay? Now, another example. Okay, look at this. So, find the limit of the function as x approaches 0 from the left. 0 from the left. So from the left, it approaches, oh, x approaches to 0 from the left, okay, it is equals to 0. Now, as x approaches um, 0 from the right, from the right, from the right, so 0, this is 0, right? x equals 0. Oh. So from the right, it is equals 2. Now, since um, our limits are not equal no, from the left or from the right, then the limit of the function of x as x approaches to 0 does not exist. Another, the limit of the function as x approaches 2 from the left. From the left. So, 2 from the left. So, we have here from the left here. From the left, no? From the left here. So, our function is equivalent to negative 2. Now, from the right, from the right, from the right going to that, our function approaches to 0. In that case, still, we don't have the same value, so our limit does not exist. Okay? Another, find the limit of the function as x approaches 4 from the left from the left. So, x approaches 4 from the left, from the left. Okay. So, our function approaches to 4. Okay. Now, as x approaches, uh, the limit of f of x as x approaches from the right, still, it is equals to 4. Now, since both have the same value, then the limit f of x as x approaches to 4 is indeed equals to 4. Okay? I hope I'm making myself clear with this example. Okay. Another example. Find the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the left. Now observe as x approaches 2 from the left. So it approaches to 8. No? So we have here 8. Now, as x as the limit of the function um, x approaches two from the right, so from the right going to that area, that's from the right, it approaches to 
to V. No? It approaches to 3. Now, since these two are not equal, then that, pe that, that means the limit f of x as x approaches to 2 does not exist. Okay? Alright, so that's it. I'm hoping everything is clear with determining the limits of a function using the table and using the graph. So, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.